Hey everyone, welcome into a little video that I wanted to make as I was playing through Resident Evil Village. Um, just kind of playing it for fun, just taking some notes and uh, kind of looking at things as a game developer. And um, I do this quite often now. Um, I, if I've played through a game before, I might go through it again and really just kind of look at environments and think about how they were made. And um, I, I really wanted to look at this one because Resident Evil Village and all of the newer Resident Evil games are so incredibly well optimized. So I think it's um it's great to kind of study these and figure out how they might have achieved some of these results and how we can achieve something similar with Unreal Engine. So uh, Resident Evil does not use Unreal Engine. They use their own engine. But, um, you know, modern game engines are similar in a lot of ways. And one thing that I notice in a lot of these scenes is um, they are probably using baked lighting, um, and that allows them to get these really high frame rates. I mean, you can see that I'm getting 150 frames per second in here, and um, I've got everything maxed up uh, or maxed in terms of graphics, and I don't have a super modern computer. I mean, I, I have a 3080 for a graphics card, which is good, but I mean, it's not, you know, super brand new. It's not a 4090 or even a 4080 or something like that. And then I have about a um, eight or nine year old processor right now. So it's not um, state of the art by any means, but we're still getting incredible results with all of the graphics turned on, ray tracing is turned on. And so how do they do that, right? And like I said, baked lighting is how they are achieving such great lighting in these areas. Um, because you'll notice that um, all of these light sources, so obviously we have a light source here, but if you look, we're not actually casting a shadow. And it's really interesting when you start to look at that. Um, when you start to look at games like this, um, I, I've really started to notice like what lights are casting shadows, right? Like this light right here, not casting any shadow. We've got a light over here, and then we have a big light over here. And again, we're not casting any shadows. So that means that all of these light sources are baked lights. Um, if we kind of think about that in terms of uh, Unreal Engine, you know, we have three, three different kind of ways that we can set our lights, right? We have static, which is baked lighting, essentially. And then we have stationary, and then we have um, movable. And I will make a lot more videos going into lighting, probably just make an entire series out of it because there's honestly so much to talk about. But um, most of these are essentially static lights, meaning that when the game is built, they are going to um, calculate all of this lighting in here and fill in the bounce lighting that we would normally get by using something like Lumen as a real-time solution. This is all going to be done um, when you build the lighting. And then that way, the engine doesn't have to calculate all of this stuff in real time. Now, if you go through some of these areas, you will see, like this right here, this is a um, an actual light that's casting a shadow, right? So this is probably a stationary light that they have right here. Um, but again, you know, this is really your only light source right there that is uh, casting a shadow. If we go into here, you know, let's look again. Let's see where are we casting a shadow. Okay, we're casting a shadow right here. So probably maybe from this light looks like, yeah. So... You can see we've got lights down here. None of these lights are casting shadows. This is not casting a shadow. I don't think this is. Yeah, so really we only have one light in here that's casting a shadow. They, they, they also have these big lights here. I don't know if that is coming from something like a skylight or um, if it is coming from, you know, maybe just like a, a spotlight or something that they have up there. It would be interesting to find out. I would guess that... Um, they might be using a skylight, but I don't really know, to be honest. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's really all I wanted to say. Th this is just a short video. I know this is not really a tutorial, but, um, I did think it was interesting to just kind of look at some things here. You can see here, we've got a light source here that is casting a shadow. 
And uh, that's probably the only light in here that is casting a shadow, if I had to guess. Because we have these big lights here, which are probably pre-calculated. Yeah, we're not casting any shadow there. None there. So, yeah, they they probably put a big light here. Or again, maybe it's a skylight um, that is, uh, or a directional light that is bouncing in here. And they're baking that light. And when you bake the light like that, then you bake in your global illumination, which is your bounce lighting, which is going to fill in a lot of this area. And then they just have this one light here. So, you know, I, I know a lot of people when you're making your scenes, you run into trying to figure out how to put all of your lights in your scene and how to make it optimized. And a lot of times you have overlap, overlapping lights and things like that. So, again, this is just a great way to kind of look through a scene and you can see that they really only have one light in here that is actually a movable light. Um, so that's one of the biggest reasons why we're getting such great frame rates in these areas. So anyway, if you guys found this helpful, let me know. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you like these type of videos, let me know. Um, and I would be happy to make more. I'd be happy to look at other games. If you guys have any questions about other games, let me know. And uh, we will go from there. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.